Hello and welcome to this short video on our project integrating a biodiversity digital twin with a fair data pipeline for reproducible science. Uh, this project uh, came about as a result of um, two separate projects, the first being the fair data pipeline. It, it was developed during the COVID-19 pandemic uh, in response to calls for more open and traceable data and codes that were going into the models that we used to give policy advice at the time. And uh, lots of teams came together from across the UK, um, from uh, academia and industry, uh, and they developed the Fair Data Pipeline, which um, tracks data through from uh, the initial collection or um, production of the data um, through whatever modeling or analysis pipeline we're using, right down to the uh, presented results back to policymakers. Um, so the data pipeline stores lots of metadata about these different data products and code runs uh, and links to an online data registry uh, where we can uh, explore the provenance um, of these outputs. Uh, and the second is a biodiversity digital twin. Um, and in particular, this one is called Ecosystem. Um, it is a tool developed particularly for simulating plant biodiversity. Um, we simulate the plants uh, interacting with each other and their environments um, uh, across space and um, how they might respond to changes in, say, climate. Um, and we thought this would be a useful exemplar um, for the Fair Data Pipeline, which um, up until now has really focused on epidemiological models um, and could kind of serve as an example for environmental modeling and data. Uh, in particular with our modeling we focused a lot on peatland uh, and peatland plants um, which are very important for reaching our um, uh, carbon, carbon um, targets um, and so um, we thought it would be an interesting use case to run a peatland model through the uh, fair data pipeline. Um, so we were able to trace the outputs of lots of these different environmental data sets and biological data sets. Uh, and so when you do this, um, the output you end up with is something called a provenance graph that you can zoom in on and explore. Uh, it looks a bit overwhelming from a distance, but um, if we zoom into particular sections of it, we can see, for example, um, different uh, data products that have gone into the model, um, the uh, originators of those data, for example, the UKCH, um, and also the particular code run and code base that was used um, to uh, produce that data product and then information on what the uh, final output is. Uh, in this case, it's a plot of uh, water levels in the, in the peatland that has been modeled. Um, and so all of this information is in there for you to explore and um, to be able to uh, trace through um, from this final output um, all the way back to where the data originated. Uh, so thank you for listening and uh, please see uh, more details below.